you guys, we made it. Woohoo! <laughs> How would you describe last night, honey? Cold. Cold. Ramp. Yeah, we slept in the truck. So, yeah. <laughs> but we're here. Yeah, we got here at one o'clock in the morning. It was so dark and misty. It was really exciting. It was a lot colder than we thought. I mean, it's one thing to stand in your, you know, in your living room and be packing and planning, and it's quite another to be out there in it <laughs> and realize it feels colder than you thought it would. But there's one thing that was a little unexpected. I'll show you. There is not usually water here. I mean, there's usually a little stream, right? Right. So uh, we had to do our first water crossing just to get on the trail. So that was what we weren't, I was not expecting. And it, it was really cold this morning. So we waited for it to warm up a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty deep. So we took our boots off and we're gonna cross and put them back on. So it's gonna be cold. You first. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys, my turn. Uh, we're gonna hit the trail after we do this crossing. So I'll see you a little bit later. Bye. The water crossings are gorgeous definitely slowing us down today. Hey you guys, first day, going good pretty so far. I'm not gonna kid you, we're hurting, both of us. This is probably the most physically demanding thing I've ever done. Um, but this is our next water crossing and it is our, gonna be our, our hardest so far. I've heard, we heard from some other hikers that are coming up the trail that there are some pretty hard ones to come. Maybe might be too deep for us to cross and we have to turn back like four feet. So we'll see, we're gonna keep going forward. So um, water crossings take a little bit more time. They slow us down because we have to change out of our hiking boots and into some water shoes and um, cross and then stop on the other side and dry off and put our boots back on. But it's kind of nice to have the rest right now because I'm getting pretty tired, but we're having a blast, we're having a lot of fun. So we've done how many ridges? Three. Three ridges and there's six to go. Yeah, so. Three to go. Oh no, yeah, that's right. There are six, six ridges. Total. So three left to go. So that's we've right. done three. Okay, so we're we've halfway done through the three ridges. easy ones. We've oh, got the three yeah. hard ones to go. Yeah, I remember. The that. hardest one to go. Okay. Well, yeah, not tonight. But first we're gonna we gotta get across this water. Hopefully nobody will fall in. <laughs> See you on the other side. Bye. We made it to our favorite campsite. One of our favorites. Just starting a fire. I rubbed two sticks together for about two and three minutes and poof. <laughs> yeah, right. Honey, we see the lighter there. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Somebody, last camper left that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, um, Hunter has done the loop two times already with the boys. And um, we have also, I have done it um, Partial. partially. We walked in and walked out. So we were in this campsite before. Let me show you why it's our favorite. Because we get to go to sleep to the sound of this. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And then there's this. Isn't that incredible? That's why we love this place. Hey you guys. So last night, the first night we camped, um, it was cold. I was way too cold. I just, I just don't think we prepared for it to be quite that cold. I, I didn't anyway. 
But then I have never winter camped, and I said all along, um, I've always camped in the summer, so I just don't, I'm just not used to the cold. <laughs> I get cold easily, and I just like it hot. I'm a southern girl, what can I say? And then there was another little development um, that happened last night. <laughs> um, you know, that happens to a woman sometimes, and you, you girls that are listening are gonna say, oh honey, no. Uh, mm, yeah. So, all the guys are going, ooh, gross. <laughs> so, and then, so we're rethinking our route, and, uh, but mostly we'll show you why on the map. Okay, honey, show them where we started off. Okay, so we started up here at the Athens Big Fork Trail and Little Missouri Trail, the trailheads where they cross. We hiked yesterday all the way down several water crossings and those were sort of high but not too high we got here to the southern end to the end of the northern half and i'm gonna flip this over so we came down through here here at yeah. mile, mile six but our favorite camp so our favorite good. camp we camped near the water actually we're yeah. right here see where the river goes through it mm -hmm. the creek that's our camp and then I'm going to slide this over. If you come down, what, we were, what we're worried about, what we're hearing from other hikers, is these two water crossings, this one here and this one right here. And this one mainly, we've heard from three sets of hikers that this water was too, too full to cross, that it was over four feet. And mm -hmm. they recommend when it's over three feet to not cross because you can get swept away with it and all your stuff's going to get wet. It's just not safe. So. Knowing that, and knowing that my wife is not feeling that well to hike, this one right here, where's Brush Heap? This is Brush Heap Overlook. This is the highest spot in the park. So today we'd have to go up over it, which is really physically hard, and then back around. This one's called Broken Hand Camp because my friend Mr. Turner broke his hand there. <laughs> um, we uh, would hike all the way down to that river crossing way down here and if it was too big to cross we'd have to go all the way all back all the way back because that's more than halfway and that means it's more than halfway back and yeah. over the hardest part of the park and my other than the water crossings the hardest part of the park is brush heap and then the five ridges that are up and down uh before it all the way back to where we started we're gonna turn back so we're not gonna finish the loop so uh, that's kind of a bummer. We were really wanting to. I'm kind of disappointed about it, but um, you know, if the river is four feet, I'm like five three. So that's like a foot yeah. three inches that'll be above the water, and yeah. we have to carry our packs above our heads. And I don't even think I can get my pack above yeah. my head. And it's I mean, cold. The water's really, really yeah, cold. Yeah, right it's now. cold. So and they would that water would be above our juicy bit. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that wouldn't be so much fun. <laughs> so yeah, we're turning back. So that's disappointing. That. <laughs> <laughs> so that's disappointing. But um, yeah, but we're having fun. The the most disappointing part, I think, is that we have to go back over the three mountains we just came over yesterday. Yeah, which, which other are, than brush heap is the hardest part. Yeah, the hardest part my... of the whole loop. Beautiful time to come here. Look at all the autumn color. Like a bird on a tree. We went over that ridge. I'm just sitting here. Quite an accomplishment. I got time. Got two more to go. To <laughs> I'm excited to say that we decided to sleep here and then we're gonna take the loop in the other direction so this is just where we started but we went one direction and we're going to go the other direction on the loop instead of the ridges and the mountains we're going to go where the falls are so that should be a lot of fun we're enjoying the fire and um it's going to rain about 12 o'clock tonight so we're gonna have a rainy night and then hopefully it won't be quite as cold we have some ideas about that fixing that so Tomorrow we're looking forward to a really good day. We're just, we're not gonna try to do the whole loop anymore. We gave that up, we 
that water that high water crossing and we are just going to enjoy ourselves and just go the other direction on the loop and just have fun all right so now you guys hey you guys we're finished hiking for the day I have only ever come here to Eagle Rock Loop and done the ridges I mean I have done the ridges I've come back across the ridges this time we did the ridges and we came back across the ridges the rest of the loop is amazing it's so beautiful and it's relatively flat and it's just woods and the water runs along it so yeah that okay that is the part to do yeah lots of firewood yes we've got a beautiful fire going we found a pretty campsite down by the river right by the water mm -hmm. so we're having fun to 25 years Cheers. happy anniversary sweetie happy anniversary mm -hmm. We did it! Last day was a rainy day. We went 18 miles in all, going back and forth, but we had a good time. Didn't we? we did. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Bye.